Hi guys, today is May 30, 2021. Today we're taking out the club bells again. I'm starting with a 15 pound club, uh, working in the frontal plane, unilateral, um, that just meaning everything is being performed on one side only for a few consecutive reps before we switch to the other side. So once again, this is a very strong frontal plane ballistic pendulum type movement, similar to doing a kettlebell in, the, in a plane that would be parallel to a wall that's right in front of you or behind you for that matter. But anyway, just doing, I don't know, 10 or so reps per side just to wake everything up. And okay. There have been questions regarding the actual application of this type of exercise in terms of the duration of a given set. Of course, that is relative to the weight of the club and your experience with um, working with that weight. But that aside, um, this is gonna be a longer set. Once again, a 15 pound club. This is working more in a, what's called a transverse plane or a plane that would be horizontal like a tabletop. Some of the, uh, the pathways of the bell are a little oblique to that plane, but in real life, nothing is ever purely linear. So this one, I believe this set is gonna last about a minute and 22 seconds. I don't time nor do I count any of these sets. That goes for almost everything except the long duration kettlebell work, work um, that I do. I'll put that on a timer, but everything else is just kind of, uh, in, it relates to how I feel uh, on that given day and time. So we're just doing a bunch of reps. This is a strong deceleration uh, using the obliques as that bell transfers to my left hand. Uh, you, well, anyway, yeah, obliques are strongly used. So this is more the lateral and anti-lateral flexion um, capacity of, once again, the, the obliques and the lateral stabilizers of the body. Um, the mill in this fashion with the stance wide also becomes a very powerful um, I guess what we would call an ipsy lateral exercise. The bell is in my left hand right now. Um, oops. Anyway, as we switch, let's go over to the right side. Maybe not. Okay, anyway, uh, where are we at now? Oh, this is the 20 pound club. Okay, so now we're doing mills with 20. This is where I really have to time and bring everything together. I, I don't have anywhere near the upper body and rotator cuff strength to just take that club and swing it with my arms. This is a global full body expression um, of multiple planes of rotation as well as weight shifting side to side. So um, yeah, we're getting a very strong, as that bell drops, the torque is powerful. And if you're not using your legs and your core, uh, it's just gonna take you right off your base. Okay, so we're still on the 20 pound club. Now we have the alternating mill. This is uh, the alternating movements are done more for the endurance aspect of the exercise. If I'm trying to hone and refine, I'll keep the bell uh, on one side, but if I'm going more for a uh, longer duration set, this one I believe is about 50 seconds, but yeah, alternating just helps to uh, mitigate grip fatigue and um, just keeps the pattern fresh going side to side. It's also just, it feels kind of cool as well. So just going back once again, okay, and then slowing that guy down. All right, and then coming up, still on the 20 pound club, the X orbit. Um, other days I have felt better than I did today with this exercise, the mills, normally give me a hard time. Those were feeling pretty good, but I guess I got so into those, I burned out my grip or something for um, the X orbit, because you'll see um, at the end there, especially on my left side right here, sloppy deceleration, uh, my elbow snags and gets straightened. Yeah, I just, I'm gonna have to buckle down into that oblique 
compartment a little bit more. Okay, I believe we're back on a 15 pound. Yeah, this is getting towards the end of the workout. This is going to be just over one minute of what what's called flow, where you'll transition from different movements, like from the the X orbit, you'll go right into a mill and then you'll do a few of those and go back into an X orbit. It's just fun. It's kind of a nice way to cool down um, and it just jogs the body out and brings the central nervous system to a more uh, peaceful state. So once again, answering the question of how long do these sets last? I am not I guess the best way to answer that is I never get tired on this. As soon as my grip or something, my timing starts coming apart, that's when I end the set. Right now, I'm just kind of caught up in what I'm doing and having a little fun. Okay, we're on the final set, um, 15 pound. It's always nice to just cool down with something light. Um, this is gonna be just over one minute in duration, just alternating. Um, I said this is a good uh, strategy for a longer duration set and I'm just basically I'm trying to time my breathing with um, the set here just once again I'm the purpose of this set is n not to get tired but kind of the opposite to help the central nervous system prepare to uh, conclude and start bringing itself into a more restful state. So just moving that around a little bit, side to side. Okay, so we're going to be getting to the end of the workout here. There was actually more footage, but it was just warm-up stuff. And But just so you know, these workouts, yeah, the weight might be relatively light, but the distance it travels and the, um, the deceleration that you have to absorb, that stacks up pretty quick. Okay, um, this was just, I tacked this on at the end. I had the tripod available and I just put up the single handle, choked with the left side. I mean, there we go. Okay. Anyway, you guys, you have a great day. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you soon. Aloha.